Welcome back to my garden. In today's video, you guys, we have so many different things that we're gonna be doing. And I wanna show you guys a pair of obelisks from Deer Park Ironworks, you guys. Now, first things first, let me tell you guys what's going on in the video. Now, we are going to be cleaning out some containers and I'm waiting on my tulip order to come in. Once my tulip order comes in, then we're going to plant up some tulips in containers. Yes, honey, every year, baby. Every year I plant up tulips in containers without fail. I just love to plant up tulips. And you know what? I've always had a 100% success rate with my tulips. So I do have a video where I actually went into detail. I posted the video last year on how I plant up tulips in containers. And I'll link that in the video if you want me to go more in detail. And it is a windy day, you guys, so I apologize in advance for the wind. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys how I like to just add instant impact to containers. And sometimes you don't have to use any plants to do that. You guys, one of the things that I love to do in my garden is I love to sit out and just enjoy just being outside in my garden that's why i always try to incorporate seating areas and different areas of my garden but i was sitting outside in my garden and i was looking at the deer park ironworks catalogs one of my favorite things to do you guys i'll get outside with a cup of coffee grab a great book a garden book a catalog and I'll just start to plan but I was specifically looking at the Deer Park Ironworks looking at their different collection of obelisks their different collection of planters and one of the main things that I had my eye on was the obelisk now so when you guys see obelisks if you're out you're shopping you see them in the stores you want to grab them and that's something that I do Anytime I'm out, I always grab obelisks. I have obelisks in different shapes, forms, and sizes because you can really just create a show with an obelisk using minimal effort. You want to make sure that you're following me on my Instagram at the underscore garden queen. And you guys, if you've been following me for some time, you know what that's about. You know, I don't want to decrease anybody's chances, but you know. So let's hop over here, let's look at these obelisks you guys and we'll take all of that in. Because I wanna make sure um, I get everything done and that way when my tulip order come in, I can start to sort because honey, I have got to get my hands on some, just touch a bulb honey and plant up honey. So let's go ahead and hop over here and check that out. I can see we went in and we took a simple topiary to push our fall harvest theme and we literally filled them with pumpkins and small gourds and then we garnished the bottom of the container with small pumpkins you guys now i want to show you guys this other pair of obelisks here i think you're going to be very excited to see them so i have these beautiful obelisks here you guys can see how tall i am and this is how tall they come. I picked out these obelisks. I wanted something, of course, they're sturdy because all of the Deer Park Ironworks, the entire collection is literally, I mean, it's almost like it's indestructible. It's so sturdy, just quality material. We have these metal obelisks, you guys, and I like the size because you don't need great big pots. So unlike this piece right here, while they can go in a little bit smaller of a container, you have to make sure you're able to accommodate the size of the obelisk if you're using them in a container to bring the drama. You have to have one that can accommodate the size of the obelisk. With these two obelisks right here, you don't need a large container in order to make a statement. Now, I am one that will take a smaller obelisk and use a bigger form to create drama as well. We're gonna be giving away a pair of these beauties, this set right here, brand new, over on my Instagram channel at the underscore garden queen. Now, one of the things that I love to do with my friends and family, I love to send them home with gifts to garnish their garden or gifts from the garden that can go both inside and out, whether it's a beautiful bouquet arrangement from my cut flower garden or 
Is it just uh, some fertilizer? That's one of the things that I just love to do because gardening is one of those gifts that just keeps on giving. So I want you guys to head over to my Instagram page, you guys. So now that we have this container cleaned out, there's a pair of containers that I want to clear out near the patio so let's hop on over there let's get the patio cleared out these moms you guys they've been in that container blooming for quite some time i can't remember when we actually put them out but as long as you use that fertilizer that i talk about you guys you will still get blooms on your moms they will literally carry you through and actually i'll show you what the moms are looking like over on the patio area because that's where we're going next we're going to clean out some containers that we planted up in the summertime and so this is around the time that i like to just start going through and just pulling out more of my containers because it leaves me less work to have to do in the later winter part or in the early spring so let's head over there and take care of those now We have our pumpkin arrangement here that we did in the last video. Now, it started raining the other day. Typically, when I have arrangements like this, when it rains, I will hop out, pick up the arrangement, throw it into the sunroom. But you guys, just the colors here. And then you guys see the colors right here. But then you go over and you see how everything ties nicely and together right here. And you guys, I am just so obsessed. I'm just so obsessed with everything. And I like how the colors just blend well nicely. And I love how this arrangement ties into everything. But it still holds its on, you guys. And I'm just the claw feet and everything. This is the Campania concrete piece. And I am just so obsessed. And everything just blends well and just marries in together so nicely. All right, you guys, so it's on and popping, honey. It is time to start. These are the containers that I'm going to be using for today's video. As you guys can see, I have a collection of pots. And they start from kind of like a larger size and they go down to a smaller size. And so therefore, it'll make it very easy to flank a patio because I have it set up in collections of threes. And that's how I'm going to have them grouped out in my garden. I'm going to grab this one just in case I need it. start putting my bulbs in and what you want to do is you want to alternate the way that your bulbs are I'm 
And what I mean by that is turn one up against. So your uh, this is the basal plate, and this is the part that you want to have pointing up to the top. So you just want to go in and just kind of just alternate them. Do not, under any circumstances, plant your bulbs where they are in a straight line, you guys. They're not soldiers. They're not sailors standing up. So you want to make sure you alternate and pack them in because you want it, you want it to look like a nice, beautiful bouquet, you guys. The skin is going to help prevent it from rotting. So try to keep the skin on there, even though sometimes when you plant these tulips up, they're not going to have any skin on there like that one, but it's okay. And um, just make sure you don't keep it excessively wet. <laughs> You put the soil over the top of them. If any of them gets knocked over, there's a little thing like a GPS system that these bulbs have in them that is going to make sure they find their way. The bloom is going to find its way up to the top, okay? So you just kind of can go in like this and then pour over the top of it if you want to. it up now one of the things that we have to look at is where we're going to store these bulbs I'm going to keep these bulbs on the outside of my house and if there's a freeze warning I will be bringing the bulbs back in to my sunroom here because I can definitely control the temperature here to where it gives my bulbs in my pots a shield or if you don't have a sunroom, you can put them in an unheated garage. You can put them in an unheated shed. Just want to make sure that you provide those bulbs with an environment that will be similar to if they were growing in ground. Some bulbs call for 13 weeks of a cooling temperature. Some call for a little bit more. Some call for a little bit less. Now, for me, I've had my share of bringing tulip bulbs inside and out. I'll make sure I'll link those down in the description box so you guys can go ahead and pull up that content. Now, I did have quite a few bulbs left over, but you guys, I have a ton of terracotta pots just like those. So what I'll be doing is I'll just go in and I'll add to the collection. I'll add one large one, one medium, and one small one. That way, my collection is a little bit even. Now, I actually might, you know what? I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to add two more small ones and two more big ones. And if I have enough bulbs left over, um, then I'll go ahead and maybe add two more because I did have quite a few. So it was a total of 240 bulbs right there. We did not use all of them. I didn't count. I'm sorry. I never do. But I do like to stuff my containers. The only thing we have left to do is to go ahead and put a label on them. So let's go ahead and label those real quick. that I use the name of the mix because here's the thing you can do everything right and then the bulb have a crop failure and then you don't get any beautiful flowers so that's something that you want to keep in mind sometimes it's not always your error it could actually be the bulb and then if that's the case you want to reach out to the place where you bought the bulbs from because most bulbs come with that first year they will guarantee the blooms if you don't get any blooms then they'll send you out 
another your order again they'll send it to you the next year in the same quantity the amount that you ordered the same exact bulb if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead subscribe to the channel we love to have you join us thank you guys for watching thank you guys for hanging out with me and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye